Bruh. Whoa, just need to stop recording for a second. My phone has turned into a trash can and it's on fire for some reason. I'm so lit right now. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, I'm so lit right now. Your life is so boring. Hey guys, really sad news. I was actually editing this video and I played that lyric back again. And I'm now homeless because my house burned down. So if you could like and subscribe, that would really help me out and get back, get me back on my feet. <laughs> let's come back to this part of the video and let's just move on to the next clip. Kids really be out here making TikToks like this, eh? I mean, you shouldn't even have to hear this from me. But this is weird. No one in their right mind is going to think, wow, how romantic is this? I mean, someone just helps them pick something up and they just stare intently at your crotch. The biggest problem is the fact he just seems generally upset that she pushed him away. This dude right here is the type of guy to get rejected by a girl on Snapchat by her sending him a video of a fart and he sends a message back with a winky face saying, damn, I almost sniffed off my screen protector. <laughs> hey, but there was never enough room on this stage for both of us. If there was ever a reason not to get invested in a fandom, in this case, the Five Nights at Freddy fandom, this edit I found with its weird sound edit would be a pretty strong argument for that. Oh, good heavens, how utterly cringeworthy. Okay, so I found this guy, and I am a strong believer in satirical content, I get it, but I'm not sure if this guy is satire. Satire can still be cringe if the execution of it is bad. <laughs> He's one of those cosplay people who pretend they're in situations. So let's watch. It's getting a bit cold in here, isn't it? Look at these. Don't worry about it, it's just a bit of business, that's all. Six. I didn't kill them all. Don't worry about it, all right? They're dead now. <laughs> Br bruh, you just said you didn't kill them all, and then you said they're all dead now. <laughs> Which is it? I didn't kill them all. Don't worry about it, all right? They're dead now. Most of them. I honestly don't understand how kids can even make something like this and think that it's cool. It, it just isn't. It's, re it's really cringy. It doesn't make any sense. And like I said, I can understand that satire can be satire, but if the execution of it is bad, then it's cringy. And I don't really know if this guy is being serious or not, because a video not longer after he posted this one was him just yelling at no one in the middle of the street at night. What are you gonna do there? You'll do nothing! Shut the Spaghetti. Oh! Do you know who I am? Like, imagine just looking out your window and you just see this kid yelling at literally nobody and then saying, Do you know who I am? Like, no, we, we don't know who you are. Get in the bin. No one disrespects Colin. Spaghetti. Like that. Oh, wow, okay. I guess it's really risky for me to be even making this video, I guess. If I go missing and I'm then found alive and then die because of convenience, <laughs> you know it's gonna be Connor, guys. Just keep that in mind. Oh, good heavens, how utterly cringe-worthy. Right, okay, welcome back, Game of Virgins, to This Is Cringe number two. You all seem to really enjoy the first one, and I didn't think it would do that great, but the support was insane, so honestly, thank you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. It is absolutely free, and you can leave whenever you want. I'm losing faith in humanity to bring you all of this milk. I hope you enjoy the video. Oh, good heavens, how utterly cringeworthy. We'll begin the curl ups now. Ready? Begin. Up. I have a rare, undiagnosable neurological condition then proceeds to diagnose it. Yeah, okay, good one. Do you know what? I've never even heard of this. Obviously, actually, because it's undiagnosable, apparently. But let's let's do a little quick Google and let's see what it is. Uh, Sidesynesphia, meaning how? 
Synvesia, however you say, is when you hear music. Oh my god, I also have this. I I honestly thought my ears were for eating shit, but <laughs> apparently not. Down, one, up, down, two. Apparently, according to this girl, she can see colour in sound. That actually hurts my brain to even try and understand. Up, down, three. Oh, apparently she can also taste voices. Okay, what kind of superpower is this meant to be? This is the type of superpower teachers would have. Okay, so you divide the spaghetti by five and what do you get? Ha hang on, wait a second. I can taste shit. Who's talking in my class? To wash the baby's hair. So let's have a conversation about why the f Forgetting. exactly this isn't okay. You have decided to record your child while they're in the middle of a mental breakdown. Clearly I don't really know what to even say about this, so I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. Shut up. Like, dude, it's a small child. They throw a lot of tantrums. If you actually went outside, you will see them screaming all the time. So lit right now, my phone is always wet, wet. Making beats right now, I'm gonna be the best, best. Let up in T-Bell, head in high school. Counting big subs, hit my first meal. All the boys go crazy, off that first verse. I'm so lit right now, okay, okay. Okay, so this video came out a few years ago, but has suddenly come back in a bit of popularity. It's one of those influencer kids from a few years back talking about how great their life is, and it's pretty much just a song about them just hyping themselves up. This is Sydney, why you always need a talk about? Call up quick because you know I'm a big deal. I don't even know who you are. Not to be that guy or anything, but I, I don't think anyone has any idea who you are. Okay, this comment right here is going to trigger a comment from one of you little rascals in the comments saying that I, Ben, saw this and I took it personally. <laughs> I saw that comment a few weeks ago on my previous video. And I just want to say, first off, shut up. My life is not boring. It kind of is, but that's not the point. I didn't hear this and feel personally attacked, okay? Second of all, I'm bringing you the milk of all of this. So can we get some respect? On the King Simp Milkman Ben. Jesus. Last but not least, I love you guys. You do make me laugh. <laughs> oh, good heavens. How utterly cringeworthy. This next video, I don't know if it required bravery or not, because we all know standing in front of a class can be pretty awkward, but imagine doing something like this. Standing in front of a class and doing a Five Nights at Freddy's performance. Like, this video is three minutes long. This kid really stood up there for three minutes just doing this. There's not much else to it. You can really see the class is just totally blown away by his performance. If that's what this kid enjoys doing, then fair enough. But I think he needs to go outside, drink some milk, and touch some grass. Okay, well that is enough of me losing brain cells looking at this cringe. My eyes are done for today. If you gamer virgins enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all next time.